So continuing on, rewrite log base 2 of 7 in terms of base E. So I know that using my log transformation, that's the same as log base E of 7 over log base E of 2. And we can't really do much with that, so we can just leave it there. All right, what about D? If N is equal to log base 5 of X, find log base 5 of 5X squared in terms of N. So if I use my little log base transformation, that's the same as saying X is equal to 5 to the power of N. So now, there's my X term. So if I just substitute that in there for the X, I end up with 5 times 5 to the N all squared, which is 5 times 5 to the 2N using my um, indice laws. Yeah. Um, so we get 5 times 5 to the 2N. And so again, if we multiply bases that are the same, we add the power. So I end up with a 2N plus 1, which means I can bring that 2N plus 1 out the front and get left with a log base 5, 5. And that leaves me with 2N plus 1 in total. Express in terms of Y. So again, I'm thinking the right-hand side, let's just get natural log of 3 to the power of 2. So the 2 comes out the front, the 3 goes out the front. I've got a difference of logs there, so I end up with a 9 over x cubed. Um, if I have log base y on the left-hand side and log base, sorry, natural log of y, equal to natural log of expression, the, the y is equal to that expression. So just equating gives me y is equal to 9x cubed. Uh, getting towards the end of it, so if I rearrange there, I put 2 is equal to log base 3 of 2, subtract that expression on the right-hand side. So again, they're both log base 3, so I can uh, divide the terms inside, so I get 2 over 2x on y, divide by fractions, we flip and multiply, so the y comes up the top, so I get 2y over 2x, which is just y on 2x. So again here, I'm going to use the base 3 to the power of 2 equals y on x. I get 3 to the 2 is equal to y on x, so y is equal to 9x. That's an expression for y. All right.